Uh, and continuing down that avenue, we want to shine a spotlight at Allen Glen High School. Uh, Bic didn't just deliver supplies. No, they went even bigger. They sparked a brighter future with the kids there. Yeah, now with brand new stationery in hand, the learners are equipped to chase their academic goals with absolute confidence. But the excitement didn't stop there, right? Brick brought in an extraordinary guest, a Paralympian gold medalist. We're talking about Mpumalelo Mshlongu, and I'm sure you know we're talking about that now is a story that is all about perseverance, inspiring these students to aim even higher. Now, Kukla had front row seats, so let's take a look at all this magic. This morning, we are at Allen Glen High School with Big as part of their Buy a Pen, Donate a Pen initiative. Big is committed to donating over 1 million pens and pencils to schools under the slogan, Together We Can Make a Difference. This initiative aims to provide students with the necessary writing tools to help them complete the school year successfully. And as part of the initiative, Bic will be donating big crystal pens to as many matric students as possible to help them write their final exams as easy as possible. But that's not all we have in store for you today because Big has another surprise for the students. A special visit from Paralympian gold medalist Bumelelo Nongo. Bumelelo, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for joining us on Expresso. You wake up as a Paralympic champion every single day now. How does it feel? I think just truly overjoyed, you know, the opportunity to represent your country uh, and the global stage and then come out as the world's best in the pinnacle of your sport is something I never dreamt of and it's a reality I'm now living. Something else that's inspiring is your partnership with Big. Take us through the story behind why you've decided to partner with Big. That's just a true testament of the stationary powerhouse that is BIC. You know, they have this idea that they want to have a campaign where they give more to the schools. We've got staggering dropout rates and we know the power of a pen, the power of education in our country can really make sure that the youth stay in school, which means the futures and the trajectory of their lives can really shape the generation that comes after. Now that we've got the formalities out of the way, I just want to let you know that I was also a gold medalist in my high school. Okay? Yes. So I'm going to race you to the drop-off right now. Are you ready, Bumelelo? Uh, I'm always ready to run. Are Is you it? ready? 100%. With those boots, I'm going to count you down. We're going to okay. go three, two, one. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Why would you say it's important and essential for the youth of South Africa to attain an education? Education, normally like they used to say, is key to opening doors that have been closed. Looking at our country personally, the educational landscape has changed completely to an extent that if you are not educated, there's nothing else that you're going to do in life. So it's very much important for our kids to be educated holistically so that they can walk tall among their peers in future. Amy, it's so good to see you again because I know when I see you, Big is about to make a difference. What is Big hoping to achieve through this matric pen drop-off initiative today? We are heavily invested in the communities that we operate in and we're committed to education. And Beck has been a staple brand of students' lives from the first day of grade one to the last day of matric. Mm. So it's essential for us that we are able to put uh, essential stationary tools in the hands of our students. We never want it, the matrix not passing their exams because they don't have a pen to be the reason why they failed. South African citizens, brands, organizations, what can we do to help with the dropout rate here in South Africa? One of the main reasons for our high dropout rate in South Africa is because of a lack of resources. And that's not necessarily stationary. That could be something as simple as a lack of food, mm -hmm. a lack of hygiene products, a lack of stationary, a lack of school products. So if we could all come together and do that one single change, um, we can really make a difference. And if any organizations want to get involved and want to help out, they're welcome to visit our Big South Africa website mm -hmm. and navigate to the Buy a Pen, Donate a Pen initiative and give us a shout. How will today's big donation impact your school and your students? Motivation, especially at this time of the year, 
where they've written their prelims and everything that they expected did not happen the way that they wanted it to or they expected it. Uh, they are a little bit low on motivation. And finally, what would you like to say to Vic? You know, they could have gone anywhere else but they came here, they thought about us, they thought about our learners, and for that we're super grateful. It's more than just a pen, it's more than just ink. It's a symbol that you guys believe in us, it's a symbol that you guys see our potential and what, you can, what we can achieve is matrix. So really just want to thank you guys for the tools that you have given us to take, in, to take our academics to greater heights, to put us in a more comfortable position to do what we must in matric. Over the past couple of years, BIC has donated over 16 million writing tools. The matric pen donation, together with the other donations, is just one small way that BIC is trying to help our matriculants to make sure that they are as prepared as possible for their final exams. And we cannot thank them enough for it. Thank you, BIC! I absolutely love that, Kukle. And Rodney, i got to say, bro, yes, we do see your talent. We see the potential in you, and we believe in all your possibilities. And that's what Beck are doing right now. So I can't wait to see your bright future. And again, thank you to Phantom Toast for coming through and diving in and giving all those kids that dose of inspiration. That's what it's absolutely about. We're going to keep the inspiration going right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. From here, we head to the kitchen, and let's see if those uh, scones and muffins are inspiring us. I don't know. Let's find out. Mm -hmm.